we're ready to start. Uh, this is a man I met at 89, shaving. Uh, he's a wonderful performer. Uh, would you please welcome the artist from Wyndon Hill and High Street Music, Mr. Pierce Pettis. Thanks. Oops. There we go. Born 
in Woodstock. <laughs> Violence 
so senseless, he has no defenses left. Praying mantis in the dark. The stick man listens to his heart. Like a children's music box, winding down until it stops. Precious boy, he can hear his mother's voice, feel her hands upon his brow, how he longs to see her now. She just comes and set things right. Stick man cries into the night.
make a lot of money, make a lot of friends. But when you lose that money, a lot of those friendships end. When you lose that job, lose that house, lose that car, lose that spouse, whoa, whoa, I will be here. You spend a lot of time till there's no time left. You become such a stranger, you don't even know. Children who were missing have been found. Uh, I have some kids myself, and I have no idea where they are right now. <laughs> and it's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, do you know where my children are? I guess I wrote a blues song for John Stuart Mill. Uh, John Stuart Mill was a you know, philosopher kind of guy. Uh, he was British, you know. And uh, in fact, several years ago I was in London, and London's kind of a cool town. I mean, they never tear anything down there, you know. And the last time they had renovation was when the Germans flew over, you know. And, uh, <laughs> So what's really neat is all these old houses where people like John Stuart Mill lived are still there. You know, they got, so everywhere you go, there's a little plaque to say, you know, John Stuart Mill lived here, you know, Winston Churchill, you know, visited here. And, uh, so anyway, so there was one that said John Stuart Mill. I was thrilled. Uh, John Stuart Mill uh, believed in the free marketplace of ideas. Um, in other words, freedom of speech. Which basically just means that everybody gets to say anything they want, no matter how stupid. And that's what makes us such a great country. 
So I wrote a blues song. This is called Intolerance.
You know, I'll tell you a true story. This is really funny. A friend of mine named John McCormick, who's a folk singer, a really fine um, folk singer, um, plays a lot in, in Europe, and he plays this song. And he went over to England and was playing the song all over the place. And the song met with some success because this other guy, this English folk singer, started playing the song and telling everybody that he wrote it. <laughs> Which is sort of funny when you consider the words are from the Bible. I mean, this guy must be really ignorant. You know? <laughs> If I could not speak with love, I'd just be symbols claiming. Everyone would hold their ears, they wouldn't know how to take it. And a soul would want to hear a racket so outrageous. If I spoke in prophecy, Secrets of creation And had all the faith I need Enough for mountain moving Without love to carry me What good would it do? I say his name funny, I'm sorry. Henry's a really nice guy, but his name is like H-U-A-N-G, Huang, which is, to me, sounds like those cartoon noises, you know, Huang. But he's a great guy, and I really thank him for having me here. Uh, my name, by the way, is Pierce Pettis. For those of you in our remedial section, they brought these handy visual aids. That's Pettis. Thank you. Oh, I guess I should put this thing around my neck. I was in the car accident on the way over. <laughs> Sorry. This is in tune when I bought it. Huh? You know how 
how many obsessive compulsives it takes to tune a guitar? <laughs> this one, all day. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to play. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh. Is he bothering you? Uh, Joel Montalto, is that right? Are you here? If you are, we need you back here by the uh, coffee. Thank you. 
I know this is a family show and I don't mean to embarrass you, but I did break my G-string, so... <laughs> Meanwhile, Mark will entertain you with a uh, medley of Russian uh, mandolin songs that he worked up just for this occasion. Take it away, Mark. I already played all the mandolin I know. I'll just watch you. It'll make the crowd more nervous. A joke? The dyslexic uh, insomniac agnostic. Stayed up all night wondering if there was a dog. <laughs> I'm not a comedian, don't blame me. <laughs> you know what happens when you run out? When you run one of those teenage slasher movies backwards, <laughs> the 13 people are miraculously cured with a chainsaw and they all go camping. <laughs> theme song.
Thank you. I guess you know this guy. Thank you, Randy Randy Stonehenge. <laughs> song I wrote uh, about two things at once. I was thinking about the relationship between men and women. Uh, uh, you know, like, because for years I've been hearing all these, these pretty, pretty love songs. You know, these sweet little love songs, you know, that everybody plays about how much in love they are. And I want to tell you something, I've been married for over 10 years. It's not like that. <laughs> okay? It's like, love, at least as I've experienced it, has been somewhat more severe than that. <laughs> So I wanted to try to capture that severity intact, and uh, so I was doing a lot of research. And one of the things I was reading was uh, the old—not what you think. I was reading the—I uh, was, was reading the Old Testament prophets, you know, and uh, like um, Hosea and all those guys. And it occurred to me that a lot of these—it's these, it's, kind of like love letters from an angry guy, you know. I that was interesting. And Hosea in particular, I think he didn't—he the one that like had to go and marry this. Uh, this, well, the slut, basically, and, uh, and then he had to, like, let her walk all over him and everything, you know, and just really treat him bad, and then he had to keep taking her back, you know, he had to keep taking her back. Every time she'd go play around, he'd have to take her back, and that way he'd, he'd know what it felt like to be God, you know.
Thanks a lot. Pierce Pettis.
Does that will surely come of these bones one day And I'm sure I will not have loved enough Will not have loved enough If we could see with wiser eyes so sad, what is so true, oh, well it would not be enough, could never be enough, so we're not on the coffee to say goodbye, oh the door is time to go. Star, so be real nice to her, she'll remember you.
and an sad and wishing well for memories will last to cover certain scars song of hers. So hard. 
I'm going to adjust this microphone and play this contraption. Thank you, it only has four strings. Thank you. I better put these back in. I failed math, so... Not that that's an excuse for playing one of these, but it's the only one that I have. I've, I've got a new album and, and uh, it'll be for sale over here at this table. I'm supposed to be real commercial and everything because I'm here for Fingerprint Records, which is our little record company. That we sell like 12 records a year and we're real proud of it. <laughs> the more we sell, we feel like we're doing something bad because, I, I mean, we read a lot and we don't participate in culture much. And for instance, the most recent book I got was a synopsis of Gilligan's Island. And, <laughs> In the book, they talk about the first three weeks that the show was out, how many phone calls is, and phone calls is, and uh, telegrams they had of people calling in to the producer saying, or the Coast Guard saying, you should go rescue these seven stranded castaways that are on this island. It had a laugh track. It was better when I told the joke a while ago, wasn't it? So anyhow, to make a long story short, we're proud of only selling 12 units a year. And if you want to be with us 12 people, the records will be over here on this table. The only artists on the label are me and the Vigilantes of Love. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Georgia. So I'm going to do some of these annoying songs off of this new record that I've got. But I wrote the whole thing on the mandolin, and I, I have a more annoying mandolin, but I just didn't feel like bringing it, so... Thanks for not throwing things. Next year.
slogans and we say the things that we've been taught to say they don't mean a thing to people it's no wonder that we live in a ghetto on the other side of a wall from other people so i wrote a song for us who have been victimized by ourselves in such a way With a question again As I work to inherit the restless winds The view from my window is cold and obscene I want to touch what my eyes have not seen they packaged our virtue in cellulose dreams and sold us the remnants till our pockets are clean. Till 
still our homes fall around our feet Like the dust of dead leaves And we end up looking like what we believe We are soot-covered urchins Running wild and unshod We will always be remembered the orphans of God. They will dig up these ruins and make flutes of our bones and blow a hymn to the memory of the orphans of God.
you might turn optimistic Sometimes it pains me to see what I see Truth is a river that is sober and slow And tears will be washed to the sea And tears will be washed to the sea Sky that's distributed down here through uh, Frontline. This is a, song, a hypothetical song about a real person that we all know and love who wears the miniskirt of excess and the jewelry of poverty. We refer to her affectionately as the motherland.
got uh, Townsend Almond or Chris Pettis. You got a couple of songs, and uh, you guys can go to bed and watch fireworks on the insides of your eyelids. You better not! Play, Mark! Play until the sun comes up, man. Play until the sun comes down. You're in danger from the shrapnel. <laughs> He was third to Buckethead label. I'll let you guys keep talking if you play more, right? <laughs> what? I'll let you guys keep talking if you can play it like two more. Are you in charge of this whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> How come you get a gallon of stuff to drink and I hope you're sweating for pieces? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. I don't want that. <laughs> It's kind of like the stuff my four-year-old wants to make that. Have you seen the Jello Jigglers with gummy fish in it, the new blue Jello? I suggest you try it, it's a trip. You don't make it with quite as much water, so it comes out kind of like a 
the ground under your house if you live in California. It's this really cool color of blue, kind of like that light back there. And you put gummy fish in it, and it's disgusting, and the cats get all in it. And it's not worth talking about anymore, so I won't. Thanks. We'll, we'll sing now, right? Thanks. He finished off his gallon. Look over your shoulder and tell me what's coming Tell me what is the bogey that you're so afraid of The eyes in the back of our heads can persuade But just for the moment Sway, look over your shoulder and tell me what's coming. Look into your sad eyes and tell me what you see. What is left of the small child who is hiding behind? Change for tomorrow. Uh, Mercy River won't be playing before.